Hello everyone, Ultimate Steve here, and welcome back to another half hour of me uh, doing random things in front of the microphone while maybe getting something done in Kerbal Space Program. Uh, so, even back, uh, this is probably the most consequential uh, episode yet. Well, there's probably going to be three of those. There's going to be this one, where we land everything on EVE. The next most consequential episode will be when we land people on EVE, and then we're going to take them off of EVE and return them to Kerbin. So that's going to be the three big, big, big episodes. So we have our first big one, uh, and it's exciting. And I did look over the last video, and ELS 3, uh, Eastern Launch Site 3, is the video that we are, is, is the landing site that we're going to land things at. So uh, that begs the question, where do we land first? And uh, normally I think the base would go first, but the thing is the base is really risky because uh, it's so low on fuel. So uh, I don't know yet. Uh, there's the secret. I don't want to land the secret first. Uh, there's the rover. Honestly, it, it seems like I think I'd want to build up to the ascent vehicle, but I think it's going to have to be the ascent vehicle because <laughs> that's like wherever we land that determines basically wherever we land everywhere else. And then the base after that. Because, like, once we know where the ascent vehicle is, we can target everything. Like, there are fewer to target it, and once we know where the base is, we can land the rovers to target it. So, uh, do I remember how to do this? No, I don't. And so, first of all, we're going to time warp until the landing site is relatively below here. And I'm going to do... I'm going to do a big save. I'm going to even name it. Uh, before, first batch of EVE landings. And I'm actually going to turn the game volume down a little bit because I know it was a bit loud last time. Actually, no, it's 4%. If that's too loud, then I'm probably doing something really wrong. Or maybe I have a gain. Yeah, I have a gain in uh, OBS. So maybe I can reduce the gain in OBS. Uh, filters. Gain. Uh, yeah, let's take it down to 9.3 just in case because 2 decibels won't kill us. But we were a bit too loud on the last episode, especially when we had like 87 engines firing. Also, if you hear thumps, that's just the thunder. It's Iowa. It's I. It's, eh, it's Iowa. We get storms. Uh, okay, so I think it's gonna have to do one more pass. And since you want to be really dead accurate on that, I am okay with doing multiple days worth of waiting to have so we can uh, better determine our lines. We have we oodles of fuel. Like hmm. precision landing, that is going to be. A real challenge. But a challenge I'm up to. Let's do this. Alright, uh, I, have, I have a quick save. And so, if, if we fail, we, we do get a second attempt. Here goes! Here goes nothing! At least this isn't like Kerbal Jank program where I have no reverts or anything. So we're gonna want to go a bit this way. Okay, there goes our first set of boosters. We're aligning. Okay, since the plant will rotate, that should be mostly above our landing site. And then we just need to slow down when we're right on top of it. I don't know how much delta V we have. Uh, I really don't. So, it, it might be rough. And I need to remember... I'm, okay, I'm literally going to lock the staging. Alt L. Uh, I've never really done that in an actual mission before. I never found the need to. But, like, I'm so worried that I'm going to reflexively press the space bar to ditch the things. Actually, hold on. I'll need to unlock that so I can deploy the parachutes later, so don't let me forget. I say as if as if you guys can tell me stuff right now. Okay, never mind, the plant is rotated too far. We need to go the other way. Okay. Alright. And when it starts getting hot. Okay, we can put the air brakes out. When it starts getting heat hot, then we can start uh firing the engines. It is starting to get hot, so. Uh, we're going to be short army if we're firing all these engines right now. 2.3 kilometers. Okay. We're slow enough that I don't think anything should burn up. Now, let's, let's take another 200 meters per second off of that. Uh, there goes our next set of boosters. So it's we got we got just the two side boosters now. And we're going to need to save some for land. Yeah, we need to slow down way more. Slow down way more. The thing is... Oh, I forgot to press F4. We're going to overshoot tremendously. We're going to overshoot so much. Yep, 
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna load the quick save. Wait, there's a second mountain, right? We have the second mountain that we almost didn't go to. So if we try and land there, there's no marker for it. Uh, I think we're gonna explode. Yeah. Definitely need a quick lift. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try that again. Because that was not uh, exactly good. To say the least. Alright, so the other thing I want to do before we re-enter is I want to take this fuel tank and uh, I want to pump it into these outer ones so we get a little bit more time on the high thrust things. Because we're not going to use that internal fuel tank for anything right now. Too much, we have too much gimbal for our own goods so we can't stay straight. Did we pipe it into the wrong tanks? Because we're spinning like something fierce. Yeah, we pumped it into the wrong tanks. <laughs> uh, this is going great. So, did we empty? Okay. So, we've got this one's nearly empty. And so, the one across from it's going to be nearly empty. Yeah. So, if we pump this into here and here, out, out. Did we do like in, in last time by accident or something? All right, another quick save. Uh, and all right, let's get into Eve's atmosphere and hopefully land this thing. And there goes our first set of boosters. That looks like a okay distance, because, like, there's no way that we... We might actually undershoot now. Potentially. We're still going to have to shoot down, because we were burning up at 1,400, and we still need to save fuel for landing, so this is going to be actually problematic. We might not actually have enough fuel in this. Okay, never mind. I don't think we slowed down enough, actually. Because that's our... Oh, uh, something's going to burn up. But uh, what was it? Was it anything important? No, that was just the docking port. That was just another docking port. If we survive this, we can still proceed to the landing. Because this is... Yeah, we're not going to survive this. There's no way we survive this. <laughs> there we go. But, like, how on target were we? Like, if we continue... Like... Okay, it looks like we still overshot just a little bit. So I think I, and we do have enough fuel. So if I load that named quick save we had, did I have a named quick save that I made? Five, five, four, yeah. We had, we had a named quick save. And then just start burning immediately after that. We should land on target. We should. We're gonna land right on target. Okay, well, maybe not immediately. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, maybe. Assuming we can go back into the proper airstream here. And then right before things start getting really hot, we burn. Just like about there. Actually, no, we might undershoot now. Nope, we are. We're gonna burn up, I forgot to burn. Well, I burned, I just not in the correct way. I didn't burn my fuel, I burned my rocket up. We actually know we might, we're gonna do this. And then I'm gonna let the air do it, because otherwise we're going to undershoot. Oh, an air brake burned up. Okay, I'm gonna close the air brakes, because otherwise we're going to be going hideously off target. And there's still a chance we can do a suborbital hop later. Okay, yeah, never mind. That is nowhere near the mountain. Okay, well, we got within like 10 kilometers ground distance. I 
actually, yeah, we got close than 10. Yeah, we did definitely got it within 10 kilometers ground distance. But, uh, well, here's the problem. Uh, we're still not on the, the, the short part. Okay, so hold on. I'm gonna pull the drogues. I said to pull the drogues. We can land it here, refuel it, and then do a rocket hop up to there. Because that'll be easier. I think that'll be easier than just, uh, getting right there. Like, I'll make a quick save and then I'll try one or two more times. Okay, well, the actual shoes now. Is this flat? No, the rover is not going to be able to drive up there. So, uh, hmm. Can we do the rocket flight up there right now? We don't have much fuel left, but do I have a choice? We just need to find flat land. This looks so goofy. Alright, seeing as our maximum forward velocity is 5 meters per second, we're not going to make it. Alright. Let's load that again. So we're about 10 kilometers short. So I need to start quantifying. I'm going to quick save now at 85. And if I burn starting at 75... Stop burning at 65. And then make a quick save in case I'm on the right trajectory. And then I can correct from there later. Because if I have more granularity, so like, if I stop doing that, where will I end up? And when things start to heat up, at 50, I start burning. Forty. Oh no, uh, I do need to keep burning. There's no way that that's not going to kill something important if I let it keep going on. All right. And I just... Okay, I didn't do that scientifically. I stopped burning at an odd number. I wasn't paying attention. But that was to keep things from burning up. Uh, I am heading vaguely in the right direction. I will say that. I am heading vaguely in the right direction. And I might actually be decently on target. I am going a bit too far that way it's reversed for me uh so i, I think i'd point the wrong direction for you guys at first because cameras are weird like that nope we're still gonna land the hill but we have plenty of rocket fuel left so at that point at that altitude we can stop and try and fly that way and then parachute down and live hopefully burn and steer this way. We can do this. Okay. We're, yeah, no, there's too much drag. Uh, there's too much drag on this side of the rocket. So it doesn't want to fly straight up for some reason. Which is does not bode well for actually lifting off from here. Okay. If this is... And this is still on a slope so the thing won't be able to climb this but we got like within two kilometers so i need to go in that i need to go on the last name quick save and slow down just a little bit less try and uh play the hemes of the try and bear the flames a little bit longer so this one i don't remember where this was but i think it was before i started actually slowing down to the heat due to the heat oh yeah way before i started slowing down for the heat so I might actually burn up and this way a little bit to extend my range just slightly. I'm going to do another quick save there because I'm probably never going to go back to the old quick save. And then again at 49 I'll start burning. Nope, that's going to be too much. And then I'll stop burning here. That is getting really close to overheating, but I think I've got it. Uh, okay. An air brake burned up. That's not a big deal. We can honestly retract them, because that's like the little bit of granularity we do have. We can deploy and retract the air brakes. Are we going to... It looks like we're on target. Like, call me crazy. I think we are going to land on that mountain. Like, yo, we are like 
basically perfectly on target here. We're going to land within physics distance of that. We're going to land. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's going to be awesome. Uh, deploy the drogues. I said deploy the drogues. Imagine if we mess it up now after getting so close. Like that? Precision landing on an atmospheric world with something as unwieldy as this. That is beautiful. That is going to be the thumbnail of the video. That is beautiful. And it's loading the rover. Or the plane that we had before. So it's lagging. Uh, oh no. Uh, we are way too low to be doing this. Okay, four meters. Okay, yeah. We got the chutes out. Four meters above the surface. It's flat. I just need to fire the engines to cushion the blow at the right instant and we will have landed on Eve done a precision land it took us like 10 tries but we will have precision landed on Eve and that is a beautiful sight we're gonna we're not gonna be able to see it when we actually land right here because it's over there and there'll be a hill in the way but like beautiful I'm not gonna say anything I'm gonna focus this is important Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We have landed the ascent vehicle on Eve, uh, which, given how difficult that was, it doesn't bode well for everything else. But like the thing is, I think everything else has a little bit of cross-range capability. This may have been like the most difficult to precision land. Now to actually land some of the others might be more difficult, but I think this is the one we really need to precision land, and uh, we managed it. Now granted, it's a bit tilted, uh, and we're slowly sliding down the hill, but like there's a flat zone like just a little bit away. This kind of looks like Rimworld Steel. Like, you can't see it because I have mouse pointed pointers turning off. But, like, if you look at the, this corner of my webcam, down down here, does that not look like Rimworld Steel a little bit? Wee! I'm flying! I'm in the sky! <laughs> okay. Alright. Anyway. Quick save. I'm going to do another name quick save. I quick save probably ten times now. Uh, landed Ascent Vehicle on Eve. Okay, we did that. That's out of the way. Uh, what's next? The ground base might not have enough fuel, but we could do that. As rep, I want to land that out of physics range so it's not lagging everything. Eve secret. Um, since the ISRU rover needs to go near the thing, I think the ISRU rover would be a wise thing to land now. Alrighty, ladies and gents. Uh, we've got the ISRU rover, which has... About two kilometers per second worth of fuel. And we will have to wait like a full Eve day to... Sorry, that's... I need to focus on Eve, because... And Eve days are surprisingly long. So we need to activate navigation. Set the ascent vehicle as the target. And we want to land as close to that as possible. So I was talking about the ascent vehicle and cross-range capability. The ascent vehicle did not have very much of that. But, like, the secret, well, it's a secret, but it doesn't need cross-range capability for what I'm planning on doing with it. Uh, the ISRU rover, it's a rover, it can just drive around, assuming the mountain's, like, not steep enough. Uh, not too steep. The ground base has wings, at least, so it can glide around. The ESREP, of course, is designed to fly around the planet, so it, there's plenty of good spots for that to, to bow out there. And the, uh, yeah, I, th I think that's everything that's landing on EVE. Oh, the crew transport rover. I actually don't remember what I did for that, so uh, that may or may not have uh, that at all. I literally forgot how that works. Okay, uh, around the back side of the planet. So this is going to be the pass. This is going to be the pass. We're going to do it. I'm done. I'm stupid. I went to press Alt F5 to make a name quick save, and I pressed Alt F4. I'll be back when the game's loaded again. I just started recording, but the weather radio has gone off. Okay, I'm back. It's just a severe thunderstorm warning, and it's going to go mostly south of us. But man, that's a scary noise and a scary voice, which I guess means that it's doing its job correctly. Uh, props to whoever designed the weather radio. You made it really, like, like those sounds, that system. 
it sounds, it gets you nervous and it gets you in the mood to do things to protect yourself. Uh, which would be great if 90% uh, of the time it wasn't for like an amber alert or a severe thunderstorm it's going to miss you or not doing any damage anyway. Like I would prefer if they say if that level of emergency and danger for like we are actively being nuked, there's a tornado coming towards you and a tsunami at the same time. But the same, so like it's getting me a... <laughs> Yeah, that's a scary sound. Anyway, uh, as a, okay, so I'm back, and there's, there might be lightning out the window every now and then, but no big deal. It's Iowa. We, we eat lightning for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was going to land the EVE ISRU rover, which, maybe my mistake was a sign against trying to land that first. Like, maybe it's a sign that I should land something else. Which, you know, let's go ahead and land something else. Something being easy. Uh, the, the EVE ground base is not easy. Yeah, you know, let's try it. The EVE ground base, um, it's it's very low on fuel. So parts of it are in danger of burning up. Because we have 359 meters per second. Oh, wait. Hold on. This tank is... Disable cro The crossfeed's on. So, like... Okay, there is more Delta V in this. <laughs> okay, so we do have at least a kilometer per second, I'd say. Yeah, okay, so never mind. We are perfectly fine. Okay, just a kilometer, 1.3, which isn't a lot, but it's, it's it's better than nothing, I guess. Like, like, it will be fine, basically, is what I'm saying. Or well, at least we have a chance now. We did not have a chance before. Uh... Parallapse, you know, 9250. I'm actually going to burn prograde a little bit so we can time warp faster. 92. We're 23 meters short of being able to time warp. Like, how 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 bad is that? There we are. Now we can time warp. Like, a decent speed. Okay, so not this pass. And not this pass. This is our pass. This is, the, this is what will make or break this. Uh, EVE ground base landing, quick save 10. And we have all this thrust. It's gonna be great. And we also need to go slightly north. But we can glide that distance, really. As long as we are within the general vicinity of the landing site, we should be fine. Uh, we also need to retract these solar panels. So, okay. The idea is that we ditch the wings and top the parachute shortly after that, if I remember right. I remember this was really fun to test fly. Uh, but there's a specific way I have to do these, this sort of thing. And I'm going to slow all the way down. Well, not all the way. I mean, all, all that I can. Is there any more fuel? Okay, that's completely empty. So we gotta ditch this, and hope for the best. And hopefully we can glide whatever we don't uh come up with. Now, this is a curb and re-entry speed, basically. Like, we'll be fine. This is going to be perfectly fine. We're going to overshoot dramatically. Uh, so we might have to redo this. But, like, you know. If it takes us two attempts, that's already way better than the evil. Uh, is the nose cone going to explode? We don't need the nose cone anyway. Okay, that's 15 Gs. And the nose cone's not going to explode. See? I'm good at this. Uh, I say as the thing spirals out of control. Wait, okay, no, I am at the right. I am at the right mountain. Activate navigation. Oh, and we're literally right on top of it. I just had F4 off so I couldn't see. So we are targeting great. This is going great. Like, I didn't think it would go this well. So we have, uh, so we wanted to land with a view of this thing. So we want to land as far to this current side that I'm currently on of the mountain as possible. So, I think a good way to go about that would be go to the other side, and then, and then fly this way as far as reasonable until the flat area ends. But I'm gonna quick save again just in case. Cause like, that is a beautiful view. And I want to land this, yeah, on that side of the flat area. But I'm not exactly sure how big the flat area is. Thankfully, there's no one in here, because I doubt they'd like to be exposed to, like, repeated 15G turns. 
like the Kerbal Space Program developers were very optimistic when they set the maximum value. Wait a second, this is the beautiful direction. So I actually want to land there-ish. So I'm going to need to go there, and then I'm going to need to turn around. So I'm going the complete opposite direction I need to. That was the beautiful direction. Okay, so now... Uh, let's aim for... I'm not exactly sure which direction. I think I'll have less obstructions if I look there-ish. If I go there-ish. Uh, so right there is where I'm looking for... I mean, you can't see my mouse. Why am I... <laughs> you cannot see my mouse. Why am I acting like you can see my mouse? So there. I want to aim for the tip of that hill. Maybe slightly beyond it. Shoot! Well, I got to the right spot. Uh, but uh, I exploded, you see. <laughs> and we're on our side. Technically, that is a very usable base configuration. But I think I can do better. Because I botched the landing sequence there. That's completely on me. I didn't leave myself enough area. Okay, where was the beautiful direction? It was that way? Yeah, it was that way. I need to leave myself more altitude. And I'm going to put those in the same stage. They fire immediately. Oh, hey, there's my debris. It just... Vroom, I was going really fast for beyond one times time acceleration. Okay, there we are. I'm in physics distance. And I need to pop the chutes and land about right there. I'm going really fast. Okay, now... And wouldn't you know it, there we are. Beautiful view. We're a bit tilted. We could have do done with landing a, a little bit back. But, you know, maybe we can get the, the rover here and just shove it up the hill again. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, it is a bit steep for the rover, but, uh, but you know, if you look, if I had crew in here, I'd show you the IVA view. But, like, that's got to be a lovely IVA view of that, like, being able to see that. That is absolutely beautiful. And probably the best base, maybe the second best base viewing location I've had ever. And the other one was like in a really old 1.3.1 save out on the moon, the moon. Anyway, so that's complete. We have that landed. Next thing to land. Uh, let's rip two, lift two. Should I hold off on landing the secret until the crew are here? Because we, because if we can keep it secret even longer. But no, let's, let's do the Ezra up for now, and then I'll decide whether I show you the secret now or later. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's thunder right now. So we want to land the Ezra up nearby, but not necessarily within physics distance. Because we don't need... Actually, no. We should land it within physics distance, because we want people to be able to board it easily from the descent vehicle whenever we make that. But we don't want to land the night, so we have to wait until it comes around to the... Hold on. Both of the acceptable landing times are at night. Uh, because of the weirdness of this orbit. So uh, I hate to disappoint you, but we're going to be landing this in the night either way. Okay, maybe, maybe we can land like at sunset on this side. No, that's going to be night. Okay, if we land here and then do a big left-hand turn and glide the remaining distance... We might be able to land with a little bit of a little bit of sunlight left. Oh, and the game's done that wonderful bug where uh, where the where the engine audio doesn't sound anymore. So you're not going to hear any engine sounds for the entire rest of the video. Sorry about that. I uh, can't do anything about that. All right. Goodbye, boosters. Uh, nothing important exploded, right? Okay. Just the Jumbo 64.
And since we might have enough fuel left over to like actually fly the wrong rocket power, we might be able to test this thing's aviation ability on Eve. Uh, why are we going retrograde there? What's happening? Uh, did we... Uh, something bugged out. I'm going to load a quick save. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but it might have had something to do with the um, the ship in the cargo bay. Because like, I can't use time acceleration on that, I think. And I tried to use time acceleration on that. Okay, yeah. The last quick save was here. We just need to get switch to the Ezreth again. It'll be fine. I can do it there, and then I can turn and then use the rockets the rest of the way. So a good test of the Ezrep's rocket propulsion system. Oh, right. I need to put the brakes on. And it's broken again. Because the time warped and I forgot to put the brakes on. And everything's spazzed out. Hello everyone, Ultimate Steve here. That recording session went on way longer than I expected, and I also cut out a whole lot less uh, than uh, than expected. So this is going to get split up into two episodes, which is weird, because I originally intended to do every EVE landing in one episode, but it's actually going to take three. So, <laughs> oh, whatever. More, more videos, I guess. So either just a lot more interesting stuff has been happening, or my live commentary skills have improved. Maybe uh, I've, I've been watching a lot of other YouTuber series recently in the background, so maybe I've just absorbed something from them. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Ultimate Steve, out.